we are here now for a test competition. Um, well, it's basically just a normal training, but we are gonna do some routines. And as you can see, this gym is pretty freaking big. I mean, just look at this gym, boys. I don't think you can actually comprehend how big this gym is, but let me just count some high bars for you. We're only gonna count the ones that you could do a Coleman on. So, one, two, three, uh, nah, four, five. And that's just high bars. You have like five P-bar sets on every single like situation that you'd ever want or not want to be on. Two ring sets on hard, one on uh, pit, two on pit. <laughs> uh, yeah, man, it's, it's just a crazy gym. It's just huge. And yeah, we are gonna have a little test competition today. I'm uh, gonna try floor routine, a little high bar routine. I don't have that much faith in it, but we shall see how we will do. I always have this little bit of emergency tape attached to like uh, my my bag here. So it goes in here, it goes in here and then through the loopy holes there. I always have that on me on like competition and well, whenever I have that bag with me in case I forgot my tape and it's like super hard to get out of it so that I don't use it when it's not really needed. But today I forgot my tape. But luckily we had the very hard to get out of my bag emergency tape. Why do you have tape over there when it's so hard to get out? I purposely did it for situations like this. Because if it was just like always in my bag, then the bridge to just using it for random situations is pretty small. Um, so that's why I wanted to make it really hard for myself to get it off my back so that I always have some tape with me in case I really need it. Today was one of those days that I really needed it. I mean, I could have just asked someone here, but too insecure for that. I don't want people to think I forget everything, even though I do. Uh. Come on, Chris. Nice, Chris, come on. Nice. Come on, Chris. Come on. Nice. Come on, Chris. Come on. Good. Okay, so this floor routine was not the best floor routine that I've ever done. Um, <laughs> but I'm still pretty Come happy on. with it. Like the progress that I've been making in the last few weeks uh, on just my individual passes have been pretty good. Um, nice. And also like endurance wise, I'm, I'm already like there. I just need to get like some more focus uh, between my lines. Right now, my first line, I'm like fully focused. But everything after that, I'm just kind of struggling. Uh, with like my run-up and like those little technique things um, So my plan now is to do a little bit more like two lines in a row or um, Say for example a round of back full into the line that I want to train so that it will be a little bit more automatic um, Other than that high bar. I was pretty satisfied with um, This is just basically a very basic high bar routine I've done it twice. I literally just jumped up and did my routine without a warm up, without anything, because I don't want to waste my wrists and stuff. Because I still want to do some more high bars tomorrow. Uh, I'll still be training here tomorrow. And after that, I don't know where I'm gonna be, <laughs> but we'll figure something out, boys. Uh, yeah, should be fun. Hi, 
Hello, little boys. We are now in the cafe, editing this video. It is the next day, actually. Okay, so it is Friday now. All the guys from camera left yesterday, but fortunately for Yeboi, uh, Gap, who is training here, uh, Gabriel, he offered me a place to stay for the night, so I'm super thankful for that. It was super nice, we just had some food and we chilled at his place. Um, his dogs are super cute, by the way. I did a little morning session and now we are here in the cafe, editing up this video. But your boy is getting a little bored, so I am gonna head out soon and do a little something something. Okay, so I got bored of sitting in that place for the whole time. Um, so now we are gonna look for another coffee shop basically and just sit there for a little bit. We still have like two and a half more hours until uh, training. I mean for now walking is pretty nice. Get some vitamin D in my body. Oh, look what your boy found. Some food. Still need to get some lunch. It's now about one-ish. Uh, had breakfast at Gaps. He made some really good breakfast for me. That's like one thing, like people treat me so well here. I don't know what I did to be treated this well, but hey, thanks boys. I went to a vintage before in Canberra and I actually bought two shirts there and both of them were only like five bucks and they fit really nice so I have high hopes anyways a plan now is to get some coffee get a donut because we all know that's the best pre-workout meal you can ever have. And that's pretty much it before we got to training. Well, that was a disappointment and a half. I think that was the least nice donut that I've ever had. God, I was so excited for it. And then I got that dry thing. 